Genesis 1, 27. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God. He created him male and female. He created them. And I'm going to talk a little bit about designing your character, just how God designed us in the garden. He designed man. Uh, it's up to us to design our character as well. So uh, that's what uh, I'm going to be talking about. Let me just get my notes. So it's, uh, I'm talking about character design. And like I said before, I have Frank Salazar. I'm a long time choose to change her, and I'm still changing, I'm still learning. It's an everyday process. I'm also a comic creator and all around creative. I create and design characters for my stories too. And, but you know, today we're gonna to talk about uh, designing our own personal character. So in, uh, you know, in the art world, in the, in the comic world, when you're doing a, making up new characters, it's called your original character. You're designing your original character. But we're gonna be doing PC. We're doing a personal character. So whether it's a, uh, it's comics, storytelling, animating, whatever, you need a character turnaround or a character sheet, and that's a, a map. It's a, it's a guideline of what your character is going to look like, what your character is going to be like, uh, what traits he's going to have, uh, stuff like that. And that's uh, that's life. We need our own map. We need uh, something, some uh, guidelines to follow to um, know what we're doing. And you know, as we're growing up, our 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 guideline, our maps, our, our parents, our fathers. But if you're like me, or, you know, um, I didn't grow up with a father, so you know, TV and everyone around me, that was my guidelines. Uh, that, that was my character sheet. I was learning how to be uh, like the people on TV or or the, the neighbors or you know, my my brothers and. You know, they're, they weren't always the, the best examples, but we did what uh, we could at the time. Uh, but that's why, you know, we're, we're here today in this mentoring program where Orlando, he took a lot of us as we came in. Uh, like myself, I came in lost, twisted, you know, not knowing what's up, what's down. And uh, with, with the teachings that Orlando uh, had laid out for us, you're, you know, winner, are you gonna, do you wanna win? Do you wanna lose? I mean, it's your choice, you choose to change foundation. You have the choice, you make that choice. And Orlando laid out some uh, basic uh, foundations for us to follow. So welcome. Uh, so uh, as I was saying, you know, uh, you're talking about developing your character, and how do you do that? How do you develop your character? How do you design your character? Well, you got pinpoint areas that you need to change. You know, like, uh, for me, as I was saying, when, when I came in, you know, like, my mind was twisted, so I needed to untwist my mind, like what I'm obsessed. Uh, so what I had to do was, like, I had to stop reading or watching what I was watching before. I was just in my mind and find something new. So I started reading books. Uh, or I'm always recommending uh, books, different books, developing habits. You know, like I had a bad habit of just uh, just being lazy and just uh, just doing what I wanted and just uh, not listening. Uh, so I had to change that around. And uh, one way is just reading, reading some good books. And, you know, the best book I can recommend is a uh, Bible. But there's also a lot of uh, other books. Uh, Orlando recommends a few on the Choose to Change website. Like, uh, uh, Jim Rohn and uh, Darren Hardy. Uh, well, you can check out them. And you know, another way is uh, you know, writing. Write down your goals. You, you write out the story you want to follow, the story that you want to live, not what uh, someone else wrote for you. And not, uh, you know, people in the world, will, they'll tell you what you need to do, but it's not always the right answer, so you have to figure out uh, that on your own. And you do that through reading good books, listening to good speakers, uh, and writing, writing. 
writing in a journal, writing notes, taking notes. I hope everyone who's watching uh, has a notebook in hand so they can uh, take notes and write things down so you can go back to them and remember them and call them. So you know, write out your plans, write out your goals, you know, not about your, your mindset. You gotta change change your mindset, you gotta change what you've been putting in, in your mind, you change your in input to uh, to change your output, your outlook in life. And uh, you know, so that I tell people, this to people and they, oh, that's just positive thinking, that's, uh, uh, you can't just do it by positive thinking. No, it's beyond positive thinking, it's, it's positive doing, not just positive thinking. You can be positive that if you go up on the building and jump out, that I mean, I'm just gonna believe and be positive when that I jump out, I'm gonna land safely. Well, that's uh, that. That's not always gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's uh, that's following a different law. That's following the law of gravity. What goes up comes down. So be positive, you're really gonna fall down. But you gotta you gotta learn what to what to believe. You know, uh, I, I get like I said, I can believe I can fly. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen. But I believe I can change my life through, through Jesus Christ, through God the Father, through these teachings. And that's gonna happen. And that's that's already happening, and that's already been happening. Uh, so you know, big thanks to God and, and thanks to Orlando for just creating this class. Uh, so I was talking about um, in the art world, I, uh, you have to turn around the, the map, the character sheet. Well, I created a character called uh, Captain Courage. And when creating that character, I, I had to write down the traits. I had to write down and draw out what he's going to look like, what he's going to be like. His, uh, his outfit, his suit represents uh, what his traits are. You know, like he wears armor because uh, you know he puts on the armor of God. So when you see that, you know exactly you know what you're gonna get. You know exactly what that person is gonna be. So that's what we need to do when we're designing our own character. Uh, start changing how you look on the outside. So that if, if you come in, you know, like you know, ripped t-shirt, you know, ripped jeans, you're gonna go to a job. Or they might not hire you. And you know what, I wouldn't blame them, but if you take care of your outside, you start feeling good about your inside, and then you, you probably might get the job, and then you know, keep going, keep at it. It's not about just feeling good, it's about feeding yourself, feeding your mind, changing your character inside and out.